Hey guys, welcome back to another keto vlog. I literally just woke up like five minutes ago and put my new video live. Now I'm going to weigh myself. I'm pretty confident about this weigh in just because I've been pretty strict with my food this week. I haven't had any like, I had lollies like the first two days because I made some, but that's pretty much as far as it went. I'm trying to think if I had, oh yeah, I did have one of those keto chocolate bar things that um, essentially keto a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've been pretty good and pretty strict and stuck to my macros most days. So I'm gonna go and head on the scales and see if it's any different from last week so last week I weighed myself and I hadn't weighed myself in two weeks because I've been in Perth and I'd actually gained 600 grams um, I wasn't eating within my macros every day like I wasn't as strict as I should have been but that is life so I might take my Apple watch off for this all right let's do this Someone actually said yesterday, they were like, you may tend to like weigh more um, after a heavy weight session, which is what I did yesterday. Like it was my very first PT sesh. So yeah. Okay. So let me just see what I weighed last time. 65.8 was last time. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> 63.6 oh i knew it i fucking like i knew oh my god let me just take a picture of that i knew i felt thinner like you know when you just like like i was putting on clothes the other day and i was like fuck this is getting so loose 63.6 wow wow Let's see, 65.8, 63.6. That's a loss of 2.2 kilos in one week. I'm shook. I'm guessing most of that weight would have been like water weight or something um, from last week, but oh my fucking God. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna go. T I think I'm gonna go take a uh, photo. I haven't taken one of those in a while, so I might go outside and put the same crop and undies on and take a photo and see if I can see a difference in photos. But oh, that's just like <gasps> made me so happy. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go take a photo and I will be right back. So I don't know if I've mentioned that I'm doing 18 hours fasting now instead of 16. Um, instead of 16, eight, I'm doing 18, six. So maybe that has just dramatically changed my weight loss and has, you know, shocked my body. I've been loving this 18 hour and six fast just because like I get up, and I don't feel hungry when I when I usually did the 16 hour one I got up and I was like counting down the time until I could eat next and I was like oh my god like but yeah and I think my Apple watch has definitely got something to do with it as well because it definitely pushes me to keep on moving throughout the day like if I'm sitting for a long period of time it'll say like stand up move around get active um, and because I've been so obsessed with like filling my rings with my Apple Watch, like if I don't fill my activity ring, I'll go outside and walk. Like I've never done that before. Like I've never been motivated to do that. So I'm so glad I got the Apple Watch. Um, so for breakfast today, I'm not going um, to stick to the plan. I actually saw a chia seed pudding being made. Um, on a YouTube video, so I thought I would do my little spin on it. Um, I'm gonna make a chocolate chia seed pudding, so mm. I've already prepared the chia seeds and chocolate almond milk um, But I'm just gonna get my little tripod thingy and I'm gonna show you guys what toppings I use and the macros as well because I literally like spent so long trying to work them out yesterday I'm just gonna get my 
hand mixer out because I need that. Alright, so you're going to need a hand mixer of some sort. A hand mixer or like one of these things. But these things work really well. Sometimes I just use the one, like the one. Okay, so. This is my chia seed pudding that I prepared earlier. So you're going to want to soak it the night before. Otherwise, yeah, the chia seeds won't like absorb and become fluffy. Um, but this is what I used. So what I did last night was I put 15 grams, which is around about one tablespoon, into this and 150 mils of the Australia's own dark chocolate almond milk. You can use coconut milk, you can use unsweetened almond milk, you can use anything, but I wanted that chocolatey flavor, so... I'm going to um, use that. By the way, I bought an insulated water bottle, so I won't be using plastic water bottles from now on. And I love this one. It's so cool. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Use that. So, now what I'm going to do is open the chia seed. I like putting it a little bit ex like extra water in there. I don't think many people put that much in, but I like it sort of watery. Then I'm going to add one heaped tablespoon of some almond butter. This whole bowl I calculated to be only 440 calories. Okay, so here's my tablespoon. Popping that straight inside. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the mixer and mix it all in. So, so I'm just going to use the mixer. So this is what it looks like. It just looks kind of like in a smoothie sort of texture. So this is what I'm going to add to it. However, I'm not going to put them on top yet just because I don't want everything to become soggy. So I'll put it in a separate container. This is what I'm going to add to the top. I'm going to add some stevia. Oh, I forgot to do that. I might just do that quickly again. Um, pecans, strawberries, and cacao nibs. I'm going to measure out 10 grams of this. And then I'm going to use 15 grams of pecans, but I'm going to chop them up. And then I'm going to use some strawberries on top. I'm going to add four and chop them up. But I'm, yeah, as I said, I'm going to prepare the toppings separately. I'm going to add some stevia actually first. So I'm just going to use this stevia just as, yeah, hundred percent sweet. It says in the back, 25 mils of stevia equals a cup. 10 drops of stevia equals a teaspoon of sugar. Maybe I'll just go a bit more. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this back in the fridge. And I'm going to get another container similar so I can put the toppings in it. So I can just transfer the toppings on top of that when I go to eat it. So I've just grabbed out four strawberries. I'm going to quickly wash them. Just going to cut them up. I usually cut them up in like little bits of four. That's a bit satisfying, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna weigh 15 grams of pecans. For those that don't have a weigher, I'll tell you guys how many pecans fit on here. <laughs> 14, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pecans. I've never really tried pecans until recently and I think they're like one of my favorite nuts and I just love them. They're so nice. Okay, I'm just going to put... All this shit 
in a container. All ready to put on top when I go to eat. I'm actually excited for this because I haven't had something off the plan, but within macros in a while. I'm just gonna measure 15 grams, I think it was. Oh no, I'm just gonna do 10 grams, so let's see. Okay, perfect. So that's my toppings that I'm gonna put on when it comes time to eat. So I will leave the macros for that chocolate chia seed pudding bowl on the screen. But roughly the bowl is 454 calories, protein 17 grams, fat 38 grams, and net carbs is about 4 grams. So yeah, I just literally replaced that with my breakfast, which was like a no bread sandwich with bacon, eggs, and butter and all that. And it came to around the same calories and really similar macros. So yeah, I'm gonna have that as a part of my first meal. Um, and then my second meal on the plan. So my last meal, which is supposed to be my dinner meal, is just two meat patties and one avocado. So I'll probably have that first, just have two meat patties and an avo, and then I'll have my chia seed pudding following that because I like to end on something sweet. So I might just take out the... Um, Patties that I prepared earlier. Oh, I should have not put them in the fridge to defrost, but oh well. Um, I might just keep them out for like... Actually, you know what? I'm going to boil some water and help defrost because they're still a little bit hard. Um, and then I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer to cook. So yeah, I'm just going to boil some water. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll have my coffee now too. This has been a long start to the morning, but like a happy one. Yay. I was kind of losing hope for a minute. I was like, oh shit, my body's plateauing. I've lost the majority of my weight. Is this what it's going to be like? I just want to get down to 60 and then I want to start gaining muscle. This is the coffee that I use. The Makona caramel flavor. And this is the sweetener that I use. So I just add like half a teaspoon of that. So I can't eat yet because I'm fasting. So I'm going to check my ketones. Haven't checked them since Perth. So a bit nervous. Nah, I should be right. Definitely would be hopefully in ketosis. So we shall see. I won't show you guys the prick because I know some of you guys are a bit squirmish with that. One point one. Yay! I was actually sitting on like point six. 0.7 in Perth, which is like the minimum. It's better off to do your testing while you're fasted, like just before your first meal, because your um, levels could spike after having a meal and that could affect your reading. So um, I've got work today. So yeah, I will be vlogging for a separate vlog, but I will try my hardest to vlog my food. If not, I will speak to you guys when I get home. Okay, so I finished prepping my first meal for today. So there's my chia seed pudding. And then I just have some guacamole. This is a whole avocado. My apple cider vinegar and salt water shot. My magnesium tablet. Spinach. And then just two 100 gram um, patties. Which I'm going to put... Actually, you know what I might do? Because they're a bit soggy. I don't want to ruin the spinach <laughs> I'll just take it off when I'm about to eat lovely <laughs> so I'm halfway through my day I'm gonna have my apple cider vinegar and salt water shot and then have my first meal oh crap so 
have it in here. You should ideally have this like half an hour before, but oh well. Oh, fuck, that's bad. All right, I'm gonna take my magnesium tablet as well. And these are my electrolytes. Oh. All right, I don't think I'm gonna heat this up. I'm just going to have it cold with cold guacamole on top. So, yeah. And then I'll have my chia seed pudding. I'm going to be so full after having all of this. Okay. So, this is what my first meal looks like. Two beef patties, guacamole. I'll just put them on top and eat them like that. So, yeah. Okay, I just finished my first meal gonna I'm actually pretty full so I probably won't eat it all but I just want to show you guys how I put it together so this is the bowl like that and then these are my toppings oh my god yum 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 okay putting them on top Voila, my little homemade acai bowl. Let's try it. <laughs> acai bowl. Mm. Oh my God, Deb. I think I should have put a bit more stevia in it though. So I think I need to put a few, but yum. That is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat that now and then I've gotta go back to work. Hey guys, holy shit, I'm a sweaty mess. Just finished up at the salon. Um, I'm gonna go home and get dressed into gym gear and go to F45. Oh my God, look how sweaty I am. Gross. Just having my electrolytes. Holy shit, that chia seed pudding filled me up so much. Like, I was so full after that first meal, the patties, and then having that as like a little like, well, my second meal, but I like to end things on a sweeter note. I was like oh, struggling to finish it, but it was so nice. I think I stuffed up the first time I made a pudding like that, but I didn't put stevia in it. And like, yeah, it just didn't hit the spot, whereas that one hit my like sweet craving spot. Um, Cause I put strawberries in it and some pecans. I probably wouldn't use those cacao nibs again. Um, they were just from Coles and, hold on, let me just. As I was saying, I probably wouldn't use those cacao nibs again. I didn't really like the taste, they were really bitter. So I might just use a square of the Lint 90% chocolate next time and just, like cut it up and put that on top because yeah I felt like that needed some chocolate in it um, but yeah I definitely will have that more often now it was so yummy and it's considered paleo so I can still have that when I um, convert to paleo I can have most things someone asked what the difference is between keto and paleo they are quite similar however according to my research um, you can have all fruits and most veggies on paleo no potatoes um, no grains no wheat um, you can have eggs you can have eggs, but no dairy. So no butter, no cream cheese, no, um, what else is dairy? Well, milk, obviously, but you can't have that on keto either. Um, the carb intake per day is a little bit, well, not a little bit, but like a lot more than keto. You're allowed, I think, I don't think there is really a limit, but I think I'm just gonna start off by doing 50 grams of carbs and under a day. I still want to stay low carb like for as long as I can slash forever because I just feel so much better not eating carbs. So, um, but I will obviously intake carbs, but not by eating wheats and grains. I'll be having carbs in my veggies and stuff. So sweet potato, I'm so excited for bananas. 
watermelon, pineapple, all those naturally sugared sort of fruits I'm excited for. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same except yeah, no dairy. You can have fruits, you can't have fruits on keto except berries and vegetables you can have most except potatoes. Anything that's starchy, stay away from. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to start that in two weeks after my challenge is over. But I am going to be put on another JRF plan. Um, it'll just be more paleo based. So yeah, I'm going to um, make some fat bombs because I haven't had one in a while. So yeah, I haven't had one in a while. I'm going to go get dressed and get changed for F45 even though I'm not going until 5. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get changed, take my makeup off probably. I might go to Rabina and have a look around. I just still need to get a few things before America. So I might go have a look around there and F45 is pretty close to that. So I'll just go to F45 straight after. But I don't know which fat bombs to make. I really want to use the Vitaworks white chocolate, the lint chocolate, maybe some MCT oil powder or some of those... Oh, I just don't know. I've got so much stuff in my freaking pantry. I don't even know what to cook with first, but I'm going to make something. And then I'm going to have it after dinner. Or I'll probably actually eat it straight away. Let's be real. Morning, guys. It's Thursday. I thought I would um, vlog over the next couple of days instead of just doing the daily vlog Wednesday. Just because I didn't really get up to much because I was in the salon. So, yeah. I might vlog today, tomorrow, and maybe the next day and then put it all in one vlog so there's a lot of content um but last night i actually made the best zucchini garlic noodle and steak pasta i'm gonna make it today again because i've got some leftover zucchini noodles um and i'm gonna add fish to it so i will show you guys how i made that it was freaking amazing and it was so simple holy shit my mouth is like watering right now um, so yeah, I just took a few photos for the gram and then I'm off to work, um, in the salon for some more formal girls. I think I've got six today. So yeah, I will probably go and prepare my like first meal now, just so it's all over and done with because I got to leave in an hour. So I will chat to you guys soon. So I'm going to show you how I make my zucchini garlic noodle pasta. As I said before, the protein that I'm using is fish. So I've got 125 grams of zucchini noodles. These are the ones I use. They're just from Coles. $3 for two servings. So I had one serving last night. Um, those are the macros for those interested. Um, I'll make sure I calculate all the macros and stuff in this dish. You'll need some parmesan cheese and... You will need 10 grams, hold on, 10. let's just put this on. So you'll need 10 grams of the Lurpak garlic butter, um, and I'll also put the um, macros in the screen, 12 grams, that's all good. So I put that in the pan, so now I'm just going to use a teaspoon of minced garlic I might bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see so one teaspoon of minced garlic also in the pan and then literally all you have to do is wait for that to sort of like melt start cooking and then I just add these in for maybe like four minutes and just keep stirring and then I'll add um, maybe 10 grams of this. I might weigh it out so I can see. Last night I actually added 10 grams of this into the pasta while it was still cooking. But you can add it after if you just want that like non sort of melted um, cheesy texture I guess. Now I'm just going to get my fish out. White fish. On the meal plan it says um, 200, 245 grams. So I'm just going to weigh that real quick. I'm not a big fish eater, so yeah, um, I've just been trying to incorporate more fish in my diet because I eat a lot of meat, um, and yeah, I just want to sort of, that's a lot of fish. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it in and season it with a bit of garlic. So I'm just going to season the fish with a bit of garlic powder. Oh, 
Um, and then just a bit of salt and pepper. So that's what the fish looks like straight in. Um, the air fryer that I got um, actually shows you how much you should put um, fish in for. So it says 15 to 20 minutes on 160, so I might do that. 160 for 15 minutes. So now when your um, garlic butter and garlic start to bubble. You can use just normal um, butter. You don't have to use garlic butter, but I fucking love garlic. <laughs> All right, so once that's kind of like melted like that, then you're gonna wanna add in your zucchini noodles. And I like to use a um, some tongs for this, just to like really, you know, blend the flavors. Oh my god, it is so fucking good. I also add a bit of salt and pepper to this as well. But you can add any like herbs and spices you want. But I feel like the garlic is just so overpowering. And if you like garlicky taste, you don't really need anything else. So um, zucchini noodles tend to like cook quite quick, obviously, because it's a vegetable. Um, probably maybe like three minutes just until it sort of gets a bit more um, tender and then what I will do is I won't actually add that in like the cheese I'll add it in after but so yeah all right so I'm gonna get my little container I got this from wish by the way but you can get these from like Dezo discount shops or whatever completely up to you so this is how I pack my little lunch for today because I'm at work so I just grab one of my apple cider vinegar and soul water shots might grab that one put it in there and then I just grab a magnesium tablet for muscle recovery it in two see how this is like pretty much done like it's yeah it's basically done how quick was that and it's so tasty like you guys will die if you try it kind of like makes its own pasta sauce it's so good so I'm just gonna take it off the heat for a bit um, so it cools down and then I'll transfer it into here and then once my um, fish is cooked, I'll add it on top um, I love this style of container. Actually, I got one from Kmart the other day. I think it's in the wash Nope, where is it? Must have put it back up here um, Yeah, this I got it from Kmart the other day if you don't want to wait for wish It's just a little bit bigger um, but it's the same sort of concept, so it has those two little um, compartments and then a big one for your main meal. But yeah, Kmart is so good. Alright. How cute is this? I got it from um, Dezo yesterday. You probably would have saw my stories, but it's so cute. Can't wait to start making stuff. That's just a little container. Alright. So... That's my noodles done. Look how freaking tasty they look. Oh, yum. I just realized you could definitely add some spinach into that if you want. I probably would have if I remembered. Um, just because, yeah, the zucchini noodles tend to shrink a little bit. But I might add some fresh cucumber and tomatoes and stuff so I can eat them as well. Because I needed 245 grams of veggies in this meal and this was only 125. So... Yeah, I might just cut up a few cucumbers and tomatoes and put them in there. And I'll just put my fish on top and that is all. And then I might actually put some of this um, MCT oil so I can put that on top. Um, that's like as a sauce. MCT oil is so good for you. So yeah, I might just put that in a little container. And then I'll just pour that over the top um, after I heat up my meal. Or maybe I'll just have it cold, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put the MCT oil in here so 15 mils is about two caps full so I'm just gonna add that in and then yeah there's my little sauce 
so I've got seven minutes left. I might take my fish out and just turn it around. Um, just with a clean pair and just flip them. Okay, I can't do this with the camera. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle my Parmesan cheese on the zucchini. I also did add a bit of spinach, so I halved it. I had spinach FOMO, and then just in here, I've got my MCT oil powder, which I'll pour on top when I go to reheat it, or if I decide to eat it cold, not sure yet. And then I'll just pop the fish on top. So that is my meal. I'm gonna wait for my fish to cook. It's got five more minutes. I like to like kind of overcook my fish because I don't really like fish. So the less fishier tasting, the better. I don't like it all gooey on the inside. I'd rather it like hard and like dry, you know? I just, yeah, I don't enjoy the taste of fish. So maybe that'll change. I don't know, I'm gonna try salmon maybe in the next couple weeks. Oh, I just, I don't know, I just can't, I can't do it. All right, so I will speak to you guys later on. <laughs> so I just put my fish in for an extra five. Then I'm just going to add that. Actually, I'm just gonna let that kind of breathe for a bit and cool down, but then I'm just gonna add that on top. I actually just calculated the macros. You don't have to put the MCT oil as that adds about 120 calories. With the MCT oil and everything else I added, 439 calories, 35 grams of protein, 30 grams of fat, and 1.5 grams of carbs. So yeah, yum. So I just went and picked up some stuff from my PO box. This is from eBay. Oh, I got it. So my mum's partner has an Apple Watch and he's like, screw paying like $80 um, from Apple to get like different bands. Go on eBay and they have them for like $7. And I was like, surely that you can't be like legit or like good quality. But I literally got a black band exactly the same as my pink one for when I'm like working or I don't want to ruin my pink. Legit the exact same goes on the same feels the same and it was seven dollars and these are like 80 so i ordered another one but this one's the velcro one maybe for gym or whatever another black one or even for work so yeah it's just like the velcro version so yeah seven dollars on ebay guys get on it all right let's go for this next one I'm turning my car on because it's freaking hot Next is from Bite Beauty. I'm really excited to start getting like Christmas collections and stuff from PR. Okay, so these are their Agave Lip Masks. Ooh, that's what they look like. So I'm guessing you like leave it on at night. Ooh, nice. I haven't actually tried their... Ooh. I haven't tried their lip mask before. So they've got some lip balm, lip masks, and what is this? A lip scrub. Yes, I love lip treatments. I'm definitely gonna try one tonight. And they come in just different colors. Thank you, Bite Beauty. That's amazing. And then the next one, oh, this is a keto one. How's that? Every time I go and um, vlog, um, I get something keto. That's so cool. Okay, let's have a look. Ugh. Oh, wow. It's from the brand Essentially Keto. These are gonna have to go in the um, fridge ASAP. Um, fat drops for coffee, salted caramel. Oh shit, what's this? Keep refrigerated, okay, shit. Oh my god. Okay, these are all melted, but they sent me the cacao, raspberry, and macadamia. These are so good. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but these are the macros. It's just like a really nice treat. Oh, they sent me like heaps of flavors. Cacao, caramel, and hemp. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have to put these like straight in the fridge when I get to work. But wow, thank you so much. Oh, what's this? 
I'm guessing it's like some type of food. Oh my god, this is like weird. I don't really get food in the mail like this. Oh, it's an ice pack. <laughs> I was like, what is this? But it's melted. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to put these in the fridge. Thank you so much, Essentially Keto. Um, yeah, your, I've, I've tried your bars. Absolutely amazing. I haven't tried the fat drops yet for the coffee. These are the macros on the back. So, so, so excited to try those. But thank you so much again. I'm going to have to remember to put those in the fridge when I get to work. All right. Off to work. I only got those three parcels today. I checked it yesterday as well. All right. I will speak to you guys later. Hi guys, so I've got one more client left for the day. Thought I would show you guys my little setup that I have in my salon. This is all of my makeup. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, holy shit, you have problems. <laughs> yes, I have a makeup addiction. I'm telling you, it's an addiction. Um, so yeah, this is my little salon. There's like nails there, and this is where I work from. Little reception. So yeah, I'm gonna go, it's not quite 2.30, but you know what, I'm starving. Breaking my fast. I'm gonna set it up here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have my stuff now. I'm gonna have my apple cider vinegar and salt water shots. I just, I'm gonna get my water one sec. So usually because it's quite like strong, I just dilute it by putting a mouthful of water in my mouth first. dilutes it a little bit makes it a little bit easier to drink um but sometimes i just shot it just like that um and then i just have my magnesium tablet here that i'm gonna have Alrighty, i'm gonna not heat this up but what i'm going to do is pour my mct oil which has gone actually like quite hard onto my food. That was actually a little bit of a fail. I didn't realize MCT oil um, did that. I'm gonna add some pink Himalayan salt. There's no one in the salon today, so I can be loud. Um, just trying to think if there's anything I need to say. This is what my lunch looks like. So I'm gonna eat my lunch or my first meal and I will chat to you guys later. So I just got back from a walk on the treadmill and I'm just having a steak for dinner, having a salad. I used these finally to pimp my salad, cashew and parmesan like toppers. Hold on. So yeah, I finally got around to using this. These are the macros just because I had um, some spare macros for the day. So I added that on. I made a like cheesy cauliflower and broccoli like bake in the air fry with some nutritional yeast on top. Um, and in my little salad I have spinach, tomato, cucumber, pit my salad topper and some of the Caesar dressing. And then I'm gonna make two eggs after this is done, which it should be. Shit, almost forgot to vlog it. I was like eating. So yeah, two eggs. 125 grams of steak, some veggies with some cheese and um, nutritional yeast, and then just my little salad. Not gonna lie, I can't really taste the pimp my salad things. 
Maybe because I only added half a serving, but yes, that is my dinner. And I probably won't finish it all. So I think I'm going to end my vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and of course supporting my journey. I literally couldn't have done it without you guys. Seriously, like when I say that, if you guys didn't support me and comment on my stuff and say how much of an inspiration I am, it wouldn't drive me to achieve my results. But yeah, so I just wanted to thank you guys for all the love. Give it a massive thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs like this on my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!